What's going on today, guys? Do you guys want to explore around the Grand Canyon of New Brunswick? Do you want to go down a really cool stone windy path into a gorge? Do you want to see the eye of the needle? Do you want to explore around Walton Glen Gorge? Then keep watching this video. Okay guys, so you're gonna go on the old Googleizer. You're gonna type in Walton Glen Gorge. You're gonna put that in your GPS system. You're gonna drive all the way there. Eventually, you'll get to the front gate. Uh, you'll pay admission fees there, come into the gate, and then I believe you will take your first left. There will be a sign there that says Walton Glen Reception Center. Um, once you're all situated and all packed up, you can follow through to the trail. There's a little uh, washroom hut there. And then you basically just follow that trail for a good 10 or 15 minutes. You're going to keep following the trails that just say Walton Glen Gorge. It should be really easy to follow. Eventually you'll come to a sign that says you can go left to hike down to the gorge or you can take a right to go to the lookout. There's actually a couple different ways to come down to the gorge. I think there's about three or four trails, but basically they're all going to lead down to the brook which feeds the waterfall. Once you find the brook, you're going to follow that. Uh, it's eventually going to lead to the waterfall. The waterfall is absolutely beautiful. Um, some of the rock formations that have been created through the water are really cool. You'll see to the right of the waterfall there are some ropes and that kind of initiates the trail. And in the case that you do get lost a little bit on the trails, just either listen for the water or just know that if you're going down in elevation, obviously you're getting to the gorge. And if you're going up to the elevation, you're going back up to the lookout and back up to the park, parking lot, wherever you're headed. First and foremost, you wanna be extremely careful on this trail because it is quite dangerous. You could slip and it could get dangerous quick. At the same token though, this is kind of the best part of the trail in my opinion. It looks so cool. The, the employees here at the Fundy Parkway have done a really good job at building the trail down. Just all the rocks, I'm sure it was, it was so much hard work putting it together, but the trail is just so cool. It makes you feel like you're going down like the secret passageway to Mordor. It's just this little narrow trail that eventually drops down in elevation. Once you get on that main trail, it's super easy. You just keep following that. Eventually the elevation will level out and you'll kind of be at that the bottom of the gorge. If you wanted to for fun, you could get right in the stream and just rock hop down to the gorge. However, if you take the trail to the right side of the stream, then it's probably less strenuous. By the time you hike all the way down to the bottom of the gorge, you're usually pretty sweaty, so the most rewarding thing to do is just come over to the creek. Just uh, wash off a little bit. It's actually really refreshing. <laughs> so you're just gonna keep following that trail and eventually you'll see one of the huge rocks that kind of starts to form the gorge and you'll see where the stream slowly gets more and more narrow and eventually eventually you'll see the gorge and you'll be here at the eye of the needle Okay guys, so we are officially in the eye of the needle as you can see behind me. This is the point where the gorge actually meets at the very bottom and all the water that's running through the streams off the waterfall eventually has to go through this little canal here. And uh, if you're hiking down the Little Salmon River or through this passage, then 
you pretty much have to go through uh, go through this little pool here. And at first, I thought it was kind of gross. I was like, oh, all the runoff from the gorge. But now that I've been here, the water is actually like crystal clear. Uh, it's decently warm. And uh, actually, I was lucky enough. I just ran into some other hikers that were going through here, and they said it was okay for me to video them actually passing through here. So I mean, you, you really don't have a choice if you're hiking down to Little Salmon River or if you're coming the other way, you pretty much have to go this way, but that's kind of what makes it fun too. And if it's a hot day, then honestly, once you get in the water, it's, it's super refreshing and you get all that sweat off you. It feels pretty good. Once you get down to the eye of the needle in the gorge here, you really start to see all the cool rock formations of the gorge and all the moss and different things that are growing on the side of it. And it, it just looks super cool. Uh, the little rocks that are kind of throughout the stream and waterfall, I couldn't help but notice the variations in colors and textures. It's really cool to see all these different colored rocks just in one area. That's definitely a feature that I really like about this place. Okay guys, so that's all we got time for in today's video. I basically just wanted to explore around uh, the Eye of the Needle here at Walton Glen Gorge. Just show you guys around. I don't want to give uh, give away too much because I really just want you guys to come explore and check it out yourself. It takes me about an hour and 15 minutes to get down here and about an hour and 20 maybe to get back up. I usually hang around here for a couple hours. So it's usually about a half to a full day thing depending on how long you stay. So just plan for that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, hopefully it has motivated you or inspired you to come explore uh, the Eye of the Needle yourself. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, it takes a second for you, but it really helps me out in promoting these videos. Hopefully you guys are watching these videos and going, oh wow, this place looks really cool. I wanna go and uh, visit there and explore. Um, that's kind of the idea of these videos, so. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks again for tuning in, and uh, hopefully I'll see you here at the Eye of the Needle. Until next time. <laughs>